Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to install The Crew Unlimited in order to play the original The Crew game. You're going to need to install .NET version 8.0.200. So open your search engine and type .NET 8.0.200 and go to the Microsoft website. Find .NET Desktop Runtime 8.0.20. As you can see, I've already installed it so I don't need to, and can close the installer. Next thing, obviously you need the game itself. If you have it on Steam, you can download it from Steam directly. If like me, you had it on Ubisoft Launcher, then download the game from the link in this Reddit post. Make sure you're not connected to a VPN, otherwise the download speed will be very low. I've already downloaded the game as you can see, The game is inside a zip archive, so extract it. Create a folder wherever you plan to install the game. I'm going to name it The Crew. Next thing you will need is to open your antivirus software and make an exception for that folder. I don't use any third-party antivirus. If you're in the same situation, then just open the search bar and search for Windows Security and open it. Click on Virus and Threat Protection. Under the Virus and Threat Protection settings, click on Manage Settings, and under Exclusions, click Add or Remove Exclusions. Select the game folder you've created and that's it. You need to do this because your antivirus might flag certain files as a virus and prevent the game from running or functioning correctly. Don't worry, it's a false positive, as explained by the The Crew Unlimited developers. You can check their Discord for more information. Now you're going to need to download the The Crew Unlimited launcher, which you can do by going to the official website linked in the same Reddit post. You can place the launcher wherever you want on your computer. For simplicity reasons, I'm going to put both the Game Files folder and the Launcher folder inside the The Crew folder that I've previously created. The Launcher comes in a 7-zip archive. You need to extract it. In the game folder, you can delete the three files shown in the video. In the read distributable folder, run both the Visual C++ installer and the DirectX installer. In my case, I already have the version of Microsoft C++ required, so I'm going to close the window. Now we need to open the The Crew Unlimited launcher and patch the game executable. Click on Add New Installation and select the file thecrew.exe inside the game folder. Now click on the Patch button 
and in the pop-up window, click on the Yes button. And wait for the patch to apply. Once applied, you can import your save game if you have the original save files. If you don't have them, the default empty save is called TCU Player. You can rename it to your liking. That's basically the username that will be displayed in the game. You can also export your save and back it up in case you need to. In my case, I'm going to import the save file I exported previously. Also, you can create multiple saves I'm going to delete the default empty save. Once done, click apply and close the window. Now click on the play button and you should be able to play the game. My game was maximizing and minimizing itself, so I figured out it may be a settings conflict from the previous installation. I recommend you to delete the, the crew folder inside your documents folder if you have it before launching the game. As you can see, the issue went away after deleting that folder. Once your game launches, change the settings to your liking and you're ready to play. I recommend not to set the game to full screen mode because, at least in my case, it gives problems while changing windows or minimizing the game. I set it to borderless, but for the sake of the video, I decided to go with windowed mode. Anyway, enjoy and leave a like if this video was helpful.